Good morning, and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV of Frederick. My name is Callie Say, and I'm here at TransWest and Horse Trailer Sales. So for those of you that aren't familiar with us, we're right off I-25, about 30 minutes north of Denver. We are Cimarron and Logan dealers, so if you're looking for a new trailer, those are the brands that we carry. If you're looking for a used trailer, we take in a very wide variety of used trailers and on-trade. So bumper pulls to goosenecks to living quarters, we've got pretty much just about anything you would need here. We also have a large variety of trailers coming in on trade or trailers that are on order. So if you are looking for something that we don't quite have here, give us a call and we might have it in our on order list or coming in on trade um, that, that maybe hasn't been added to the website just yet. So for those of you looking for a really handy little bumper pull, I've got a brand new Cimarron right behind me. It's a 2023 Cimarron North Star two horse bumper pull with side load. And this is a really cool little trailer. We've sold this one a couple times since we started this design. And it, you, it doesn't sit around here long. Half the time it's sold before it leaves. So a lot of people that are looking for an extra tall trailer usually got some bigger horses or maybe they're hauling more mare full combos. This is a really, really great setup. Those of you that are familiar with our two plus ones, this is kind of um, a smaller version of that. You don't quite have enough room for two box stalls on a bumper pull, but you're 18 feet, three inches on the floor, so you're not super long. It's still gonna be easy to maneuver this around, but you're not having to step up into a gooseneck. So the really cool thing about this trailer is we've actually got a traveling divider on it, which I will show you how it operates, that allows you to turn this, this two horse into a box stall in the matter of under a minute. So you can literally walk your horses on the rear ramp and walk them off the side ramp. You never have to worry about backing a horse down the ramp. Let's go over some of the, the finer details on this trailer here. First up at the very front of this trailer, um, you're gonna have a hold back on every door. That's gonna come standard from Cimarron. They use these, these swivel hold backs now which are a lot more forgiving than those just straight ones. So we like that, that addition that they've done there. Um, you've got a stainless nose sheet with tread bright down low. And we have gone in and added more of this diamond plate down low. We find that a lot of bumper pulls get a lot of their abuse right down here where you're flinging rocks up. So we've, instead of running at just 12 inches high, we've, we've gone in um, done the 24. So it look, gives it a really clean look. It's not too much diamond plate, but it's going to protect the front of your trailer a lot better than this 050 aluminum sheet. Stainless steel nose sheet, same thing. It's going to give it a nice, clean, sleek appearance, and it's going to hold up a lot better to any road blast that you get. The dimensions for this trailer, I mentioned warm blood earlier. That means we're going to go extra tall. So you're seven, seven tall. That's our standard warm blood height for our Cimarron trailers. Uh, we can do them every three inch increments. So maybe if you've got some bigger horses, but not necessarily warm blood height, we can do a seven four. Our standard is seven one. And on some of our really big head to heads, we actually do seven ten tall. So there's kind of a lot of flexibility in your options. If you're open to waiting until we have one that's coming in on order, uh, you can either take a, a trailer that we've already got an inventory on order, make your adjustments, or you can wait and completely custom build one from the ground up. We have a lot of customers that do that. On the door here, you've got a nice little brush box. Some people go in and do a um, door, tack door organizer instead. I've got this brush box on my current trailer and I really like that it's just a nice little junk drawer for your trailer. We do a fold up step and this is a big selling point for me. I had a Cimarron warm blood trailer and I've got a two horse slant now, Cimarron, but my warm blood did not have a fold up step on the front. And it's quite a leap to get in and out of that trailer without it. Uh, it's not like you have the running board on the side to step in on these warm bloods when you're entering on this side here. So having the fold down step is an absolute must have. It just makes it so easy to get in and out of this trailer. Good size front tack room on this little warm blood trailer. We've got bridle hooks just about everywhere we can put them. 
anywhere that you've got bridle hooks, you're going to see carpeting behind. We did a lot more carpeting on this than you would standard than you would see um, just on a standard trailer here. And a lot of people are going to be shoving their show boxes right up against this wall. And although your horses aren't exactly right on the other side, you know they're a little bit farther set back on these trailers. Uh, it's really nice to minimize the noise that they have to hear as you travel down the road and that carpet will help with that. Also if you're shoving your boxes and everything up against this wall that white sheet is going to scratch up pretty easy so this carpet just helps with the longevity of your trailer that gives it a nice clean appearance so if you go to sell it it's going to look brand new. On this wall here we've got a recessed saddle post and we did two blanket bars and two saddle tiers cool thing about these Cimarron trailers is they're completely customizable. So if you've got more saddles, even if you're just hauling two horses, you want more of these trees, you can easily just add them on. You just need a little wrench and the hardware is really easy to, to take on and off. So you can add more of these, more blanket bars. Uh, you can switch them up if you want the blanket bars down low, saddles up high. There's a lot of flexibility. A lot of people on these warm load trailers will also have those big tack boxes. And if you want, you can completely take these out if you're not going to use them, put them in storage and uh, throw them back on if you ever go to resell this trailer. Also move them up a little higher if you need a little more clearance under there. Generally, you're throwing your English saddles in here. They're not that heavy. You can heft them easily onto an 18-hand horse. You can put them a little bit higher on these saddle posts. So you have a lot of flexibility just right there. Your spare tire is going to be the same exact tire that you've got running on the ground. Uh, we've got nitrogen filled tires on all of these these tires uh, and what's really nice about that is if you have a really 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 cold morning and it's followed by quickly warming up day it's so nice today but it was really icy this morning then you're if you're filled with just regular air those tires are going to expand really quickly as they warm up and that's what you kind of get into the danger of blowouts on your trailers so by having the nitrogen, it's a much more stable PSI. You're not going to get those huge fluctuations in temperature, um, and it's going to it's going to perform better in this type of weather. So that's standard. Every Cimarron comes standard with its own tire warranty, so you get a one year no questions asked. Even if you create the damage on these tires, uh, two year roadside assistance and five year against any manufacturer defects. So even the tires themselves are really well protected on these Cimarrons. Then the Cimarron warranty is eight year structural, two year or three year hitch to bumper. So they really stand behind their product. They protect their trailers. Um, they believe in the quality of the build. So they are comfortable standing behind it for that long. Every Cimarron will also come standard with an aluminum wheel. We did the silver spoke on these ones. We've got a really cool black spoke that we do on a lot of them, especially our silver, our char charcoal metallic trailers. And then you can step into the bigger wheels and tires like the SRWs um, and the, uh, the Alcoas. So lots of different options just on wheels and tires. I said we were, the, we were the customer for this trailer so any of the cool features you see on it was actually designed by us. And that could be you if you decided you wanted a very custom trailer yourself. So we're going to step in to this side ramp here. And what's nice here is you've got a bar that goes across. So I know a lot of people kind of shy away from those straps. Uh, if you've got a horse coming out, you want something a little more heavy du duty. This is a really cool setup. We've done a lot of really neat upgrades on this one. The side ramp is coated in this. It's got a nice rubberized um, texture to it. So even if it's a little slick and icy like it is this morning, it's still going to have good grip and traction to get those horses up and down the ramp. We've got a head divider here. It's bar type and then bar type all the way over the backs. So you're going to get nice lots of airflow. It's going to be really inviting for these horses. But if you have to walk a horse on and off, since we're not quite as long as a standard two plus one, um, this can swivel over give this horse right here some more room to make that turn out of this trailer. Everything's got these nice little AR latches and I love these latches. They're so easy to use. Um, they're, they're coated in plastic so you don't have metal on metal 
uh, wearing on against each other, which is really nice. These big, um, these big balls here at the end make it really easy to grab on and operate. Um, on the dividers here, you've got butt and chest bars. We went in and padded all of them, including the divider. Just figured it's a really nice trailer. There's no reason to have to go in and add things on afterwards when it already gets here. You guys probably just saw me do the safety locks here. <laughs> on, the, on the chest bars, we, we have these little latches here that just prevent like a gelding or a mare that's pretty mouthy and just wants to play um, from popping these off and getting themselves in a predicament when, they're, when you're traveling. <laughs> these butt bars are really simple to operate. But those just drop down. If you wanted to turn it into a box stall, these just pop right off. Once again, you're going to have a plastic buffer, no metal to metal. It's going to be a lot quieter for those horses that are having a ride in here. Cimarron's are one of the quietest trailers for horses to ride in. Not only do they have the insulated fiber tech roof, which is going to help deaden the sound, but it's also going to add to um, keeping this stall area a lot cooler for those animals. But you've also got those, those plastic coatings on just about everything to keep it a lot quieter for these horses. So I mentioned it's really easy to turn these trailers into a box stall really quickly. So if you're going to a show with two and coming back with just one, we've got this bar here that kind of holds the head, head grill in place there. And then these AR latches just kind of drop down here. I'm going to do this side over here. And we're at kind of an angle here, so um, if you're a little bit straighter, it doesn't try and walk on you. But essentially, you just get right in the middle of it and you just walk it to the side. It is so simple to use. And then you've got points in the floor and the ceiling that it can click into, which makes it really simple. Put it over to the side. And you've got one for this head divider as well. So just like that, in a matter of seconds, we've made ourselves a nice big box stall. So if you got some really big horses that just going on a longer journey and want a little more space, it's as simple as that. You don't have to go and store a divider anywhere. Um, it doesn't take two people to have to move. This was actually uh, created off of our cattle trailers. We have those big traveling gates that we use on them. And we figured, why not make them move the other direction? And we do it on almost every single one of our two plus ones, our big head to heads and we've started doing it on these bumper poles and people just love the design. On the floor here, another upgrade you'll see is this is worm flooring. And worm flooring is gonna protect that really, really, really strong Cimarron floor you've got under there. Cimarron has one of the best aluminum floors in the industry. They are four inch centers with a V truss every other. So that means your horse is always standing on a center support. A lot of trailer companies, even the high-end brands, you're looking at six to even 12 inch centers. And what happens is where your horses stand, you'll notice that on aluminum sheeted trailer, just aluminum sheeted floor trailers, where the, where the centers are, if your horse is standing not on a center support, you're gonna get a lot of bowing and that's where you get a lot of urine pooling and that uneven floor, especially you walk on those older aluminum sheeted floors you'll notice that there's just dips everywhere the horse's weights are. And this is a really good testament to Cimarron. You can walk on an older Cimarron trailer that has these four inch centers and it's gonna be a nice straight level floor. You're not gonna get that bowing that you do on a lot of those trailers. Everything's extruded interlocking, very, very strong. But to go in and protect that on top of that is this worm flooring. And worm flooring, you completely seal the floor. You don't have to ever worry about urine getting down to the aluminum to cause any pitting and corrosion. It's best if you can do it right from the get-go before a horse is ever loaded in these trailers and it's gonna 
it's going to really improve the longevity of your trailer and your floor. It's a lot easier to use too. You just pressure wash this out. Um, very, very simple. Some people go in and pick different colors. So if you get to us before we've installed the worm floor, we can usually pick a d different color. It's a little bit of an upcharge, but you can do tans and purples and greens and all sorts of different things to really customize these trailers. The stall area itself is lined and insulated. Uh, so you've got these 050 aluminum sheets and you've got insulation behind there. So your horses are gonna be nice and cool. Once again, it's gonna help deaden that sound. And then something that a lot of people love on these little warm blood bumper poles is that little window that we've got into the tack room. So if you're jumping in the tack room really quick, you wanna peek in there and see, see if the horses are being naughty. Uh, it's a really cool little feature we add to a lot of our warm blood trailers. So rear ramp here, once again, texturized rubber. So you're not gonna have the slipping that you will on a lot of trailers. We've got these big Optibrite lights in here. So if you're loading in and out at night, you're gonna have so much light thrown in here. The horses are not gonna be nervous stepping in. It's not like they're getting in a cave. And then you've got exterior lights too. We do these big LED awning lights. Got an eight inch at the rear so that you can see where you're loading. And we've got one on each side that's 16 inch. The benefit of going with one of these little straight load bumper pulls is you get these big rear ramps with wraparound Dutch doors if you want. And I loved these when I had that warm blood trailer. I've got a huge drop down window in my rear door on my current Cimarron, but you'd have so much air be able to move through these trailers. You, I never have to worry about pulling my horses off hot on my Cimarron trailers, but it was, it was excessive and my horse loved it. Uh, when we had these big wraparound Dutch doors. Um, it was really funny because he was a 15 hand quarter horse. You could barely see his butt over that side ramp there or over that rear ramp. So it was like it wasn't even, there wasn't even a horse in there, but he loved how much air you could get moving through. On your exterior here, some key features. We upgraded the axles on these trailers. So we know you're gonna be loading some bigger horses on this. 5,200 pound rubber torsion axles uh, just makes it a little bit safer, a little more axle under that trailer so that you don't have to worry about it getting overloaded. You've got extrusions that go all the sides here. These are structural as well as they look really cool. Um, you've got hollow, hollow cores running through here. They're triple hollow slats and it'll actually help increase the rigidity of the side of your trailer so that you don't have to worry about quite as much flexing. Escape door on this side here. Um, obviously, we've got the side ramp on the other side, but this is nice. You can just pop in this escape door, feed and water those horses. You've got a big drop down window on it, so you can get lots of, lots of air moving through here as well. So this is a really cool trailer, and I know a lot of people love the design of this one. If you guys have questions on this trailer in particular, uh, the stock number for it is 5N221. 904. It's a 2023 Cimarron Warm Blood Two Horse Bumper Pull. Like I said, we've we've taken this design and we've we've um, messed it around for customers to suit their exact needs. So if you're looking for one like this, but maybe with some big tweaks on it that we can't just do here at the shop, we can always take a look at the next one we have on order, make some adjustments to it, and put your name on it so that when it arrives here, you can pull it home. Uh, my name is Callie Say. I absolutely love building these Cimarron trailers, selling them. So if you guys have any questions, I would love it if you would reach out to me. My phone number is 970-309-6368. You can call or text at that number. If you guys have any questions, I would be more than happy to answer them. So I hope everybody has a really great day. Uh, thanks for tuning in.